Hello friends, welcome to the industrial automation channel. In this video, I will show you how to read and write system time in Siemens PLC that is in TI portal. So how we can uh, read the real time clock of the PLC or how we can modify the uh, clock of the PLC. Okay. Suppose you have the application of scheduling that is on a particular time you want to on the uh, output of PLC on daily basis. So how we can program the same I will show you in this video. So please watch the full video and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, let's start. So open the TI portal, configure your PLC and all hardware. Okay. So in uh, main OB, okay, we have now there is nothing in uh, main OB. So we will just add one more block here that is a DB block. Click on add new block, data block. Just give the name. I will just give db1 ok ok so add here tag set rtc or let's give the name set time ok data type is dtl Okay, so if you add this uh, tag detail data type, you you can see here the automatically uh, this format will come. That is year, month, day, weekend, hour, minute. Okay, so let's add one more tag here. That is read time. Same for uh, data type detail. So you can see in uh, read time all. Uh, year month and is already uh, there so one more tag return value one the data type is integer int one more tag return value two okay so we have added these tags so let's go to the main ob now here let's take always on which Okay. Now take empty box here. Just type read rd. You can see here rd underscore sys time. Okay. Take the instruction that is rd underscore sys underscore t means that is read time of the day. Okay. So here just give the address of uh, which we have recently created in db db1 this is a return value so just take as a return value 1 okay and uh, this instruction is for uh, to uh, read the system time uh, read the plc time okay so here give the address of read time okay so just remove this dot okay enter so this instruction is to read now let's take one more instruction that is for write time wr write system time wr syst enter so here just give the address of set time set time okay and in return value let's give return value 2 okay so uh, for writing the system value or system time we will do this only one time so let's take one you know here so it's not continue writing okay we will write only one time we will set the time of the plc only once then we will just read every time okay so just uh, configure one tag here i will just give the name tag 1 okay now just download the program in plc let's load the program Okay, 
just go online okay so let's go in db let's monitor the value in db so now here in read time you can see the year is 2012 month is first day is 10 right so now uh, we want uh, we need to modify this because right now it's uh, 24th september 2021 yeah so for this we will first in set time this tag is for set time right and this tag is used in write instruction this is you can see here this is set time tag and this is used in write instruction so very first thing we will set the uh, current time in plc okay so just modify this value now it's 2021 month is 9 date is 24th okay okay weekday it is fifth day So hour, it's seventh hour. Okay, uh, it means nineteen. Nineteen o'clock, and minutes it's thirty-six. So we'll take it thirty-seven. Yeah. So just go to main OV. We'll turn on this tag for once, right? So just modify to one so now a right instruction is executed so again we will just modify to zero this tag okay means we have uh, write the value in system time for only once right so now let's check the read value of the real time so now here you can see now the read time is 2021 the ninth month 24th day right and it's 19 hour and 37 minutes okay so in this way we can set the time of plc okay so if you want uh, if you in your logic if you want to on any particular output on daily uh, suppose at 8 am at 8 o'clock you want to on the output of plc then we will write code for the same so just take always on beach here then just take the instruction equals to okay sorry equals to here so just take the address of clock read time oh right for eight eight o'clock suppose let's take uh, right now uh, it's 19 right so let's take here 19 o'clock and let's out, uh, open, uh, turn on the output to 0 0.0 yeah so let's uh, download this You can see here it's uh, we have taken the tag of hour and it's 19 o'clock so on 19 o'clock the output will be on so uh, if hour is uh, goes to 20 then this output will be off okay so in this way you can use our minute and uh, day or year uh, anything for in your logic okay thank you friends thank you for watching this video Please subscribe to the channel for uh, more interesting tutorial. Thank you.